Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. We look into the future this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everyone to Boss Battle number 144, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Um, I started playing Peggle Blast. Um, that's a review for next week. Um, was it? A, oh, I guess you don't want to spoil that. What? <laughs> I was going to say, was it a blast, but I guess you don't want to spoil that. Yeah, yeah not really. Um, <laughs> but uh, what else did I do? Um, crazy cat game. Uh, here's a fun fact about the crazy cat game. Every time I wait for you guys to unlock something, mm-hmm. um, and then I go and do it. <laughs> like I, I, like I get lucky sometimes and unlock stuff by myself, but I, I seriously wait until you guys post something that you've unlocked. And then I go and do the same thing. <laughs> so, um, what else? Uh, black ops, uh, advanced warfare, you know, the huge, I'm up to 237 attempts on uh, Crossy Road whenever there's an update. Wow. So <laughs> I hope there's an update soon <laughs> or else Save I will be all. sitting there for three hours just using those chances. I got the fox the other day. I have 237 <laughs> attempts. <laughs> I don't play it nearly enough. The amount of things that I have is ridiculous. <laughs> Like I should just stop playing the game. I should uninstall it and walk away. So, hmm. but yeah, um, that's all about all I accomplished. Uh, this will be the last show from the Chotch Cave. Oh, oh. New um, dick. Next Keep week, unlocked. yep. Next week we will be coming to you from the war room. I've noticed the echo. What echo? The echo that there's nothing else left in your room. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's getting echo, really, echo, really echo. empty. Um, so I mean. Uh, the background, the, the backing noise, it's got a great ambience to it. Um, that's because there's barely anything left here. So it's got a great like, ambience to it. Yeah, like like <laughs> once, I, once I'm done with this show, I'm going to eat dinner. Then I'm going to unhook my computer and everything and get the desk ready. So, yeah. Lots of work. It's happening. Yeah. It's, it's happening. I'd look around here. If I'd move, man, I have so much stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really own that much. It's taken me. Uh, it, when it's all said and done, it'll be about three car trips and a U-Haul van. He's given, he, but he's given me a lot too. So like now it's well, my stuff to find a place. But I have a house where I can keep stuff. So right, I've and accumulated all the things. It, it's just stuff I'm not using. Anyhow, uh, Sorg, what did you accomplish? This I played some games. I played a lot of games, arcade games. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But uh, actually, so I did a mini boss on these sales that happened. Uh, over the weekend, right? And if I can find my phone, uh, in particular, some things, uh, again, getting back to it, rem- remind me how much I loved Alto's Adventure, the snowboarding game. Uh, Shadowmatic, which you get, uh, it- it's 3D, and there's like this light kind of thing to it, and you get this object, and you you turn the object to make a shadow on the wall form of like a teapot or a duck, whatever the shape is supposed to be. That's been kind of fun. But the main one is one called Framed, it's an old-timey noir kind of thing, and you're moving frames that looks like comic book panels, so the person can evade, uh, you know, a walk by the cops and don't get doesn't get arrested and everything. And there's this, it's it's an awesome kind of play because there's this case he's trying to get away from, you know, get away with. This, this is this briefcase, and as you go, there's other characters, and you become them for a little bit as they steal the briefcase away from the one character, and then there's this other mysterious character that's popped up too with a mustache and. Uh, in the lemon. Sorg. What's that? <laughs> I was, was going to say, don't let Rez hear you talking about noir games. <laughs> but this is, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, they, they were a buck over the weekend. I don't know if they still are, but even so, even at two, three bucks, any of these games are completely worth it. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what's really what I've been getting into. Oh, Zombie Goats. Goats. Goat Z. Uh, the Goats Goat Simulator uh, add on. You have to buy it by itself for like five bucks. Uh, I was playing that, and it was kind of fun to be uh, the goat, like, you know, killing zombies, and, and it was just fun little distraction for a little bit. So, that's what I got, Bobby. All right. Um, and I played the usual suspects, uh, Cats Collected. Uh, Mr. Whiteface gave me a pink belt today. Ooh. Um, yeah. And I which... a piece of wood yesterday. <laughs> um, 
and I, I think a cricket today too. I got that dead cricket thing. Um, somebody brought me that too. Um, I played The Simpsons Tapped Out. Uh, the Sideshow Bob missions are almost over. Uh, unlocked Dame uh, Judith Underdunk, which is a Sideshow Bob's mother. Um, and I uh, played a little bit of Crossy Road, Unlocked the Fox. Didn't really play any like big games. I thought about getting The Witcher 3 this weekend, but I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. Probably not. Because so, I didn't, didn't even beat The Witcher 2, so I have to go back and play that yet. Can right. you imagine that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, right game. There's a game. <laughs> All right. Chachi, you want to send us around the net? It's now time for our video game three things from the internet. <laughs> uh, first up, have you guys ever wanted to own a fridge full of Jurassic Park? Why, yes, I have. Um, a, a lot on eBay is going for $1,500. Uh, $12 shipping, in case you're curious. $12? Uh, that's way too much for shipping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for a fridge full of yes. Jurassic Park Super Nintendo games. Way too, um, it's like you're, playing, you're, pay, you're getting the games for free and paying $12,000 some dollars for shipping. No, it's it, well, it's $1,500. Yeah, so. um, but, uh, <laughs> and here's the thing. Uh, you don't get the fridge. What? That's <laughs> crap! Um, it is, uh, 300 Jurassic Park Super Nintendo cartridges, um, with, uh, complete in box, uh, a, a PAL version, uh, complete in box, and then he said he'll throw in some other games for, like, Game Boy Color, uh, Sega, Sega CD, what? Sega Saturn. Is this, like, the E.T. Um, burial of, of Jurassic that? Park games? What's that? Is this, like, the E.T. burial of Jurassic Park games? Apparently, um, and it's literally a fridge full. Like if you go to if you go to the link over at insertcointobegin dot com, it, it is a fridge full um, minus one shelf uh, of because one shelf has uh, Bacardi Gold on it. Um, well, it doesn't matter because you're not getting the fridge anyway. <laughs> right, um, but uh, he he specifically states in the uh, the the post that the fridge and the room are not for sale. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you ever wanted over 300 copies of Jurassic Park, the Super Nintendo game, uh, wait, go wait. over to Link and uh, drop a bid. So um, and there's a there's a wonderful QA on this. Oh, uh, it is. Uh, can you confirm if the games game cards and fridge are haunted? Is is any uh, potential haunting included in the price? To best of my knowledge, my knowledge, I can say that none of these cards are haunted. Whether your spouse haunts you at night for buying them, though, that I cannot guarantee. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite dinosaur? What's That's a silly question. Tyrannosaurus Rex for the win. Yeah. There you go. How it's does like, why are these in a fridge? Because that's the cool thing to do, and I like to keep it fresh. Going off topic for a second. Did no. You guys, did you guys see the Barbasol cans for Jurassic Park? No. no. The new Jurassic World? They released special edition Barbasol cans like Nedry had. Oh, do they, they the open? I don't know if they open or not, but they have like a dinosaur on it. It looks pretty cool, though. Oh, it would be cool yeah. if they opened. I know. It would be amazing. Um, all right. Okay. So next up, uh, over on Etsy, uh, you can buy – well, not anymore, but they have a uh, custom Pokeball, Pokeball crystal for sale. Like um, but only it's Dragon Ball Z, not Pokemon. But uh, – and they got so many hits and questions about it that they had to change the price to a hundred thousand um, dollars. But they they run about eighty. Do you get the fridge if you buy the hundred thousand dollar one? <laughs> no, these don't come in a fridge. <laughs> oh, um, but they look kind of they look kind of amazing. Uh, so you can go check those out. Uh, from Bobby. Hey. And it's the only reason I put this in because I didn't think it was that good. Uh, Mario what? Kart Fury Road. You didn't um, see that, Max, did you? No. Okay. Um, essentially, a YouTube user Sundberg KR recut the Mad Max trailer with uh, Mario Kart music sound effects and a few graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all right. Not not super good. Um, You'd have to see the movie, though. Not really. It was a trailer. Yeah, it was they a trailer. Yeah. It, my, my, issue with it was it, good. my issue with it, let me finish, is that there wasn't really a lot of uh, additions to it. Like, there were a few, but it wasn't – if you're going to do something like that, it needs to be overdone. Like, every every two seconds, there needs to be a sound effect or a graphic. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you can check that out. And last but not least, Smosh Games presents Honest Game Trailers Twisted Metal. 
This is hilarious. Yeah, I like this. this Watch the entire three minute and 46 second video. Sorg, you especially watch it because there's a part <laughs> in it that you will love and it will be hilarious. Nice. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's perfect for a game trailer. Um, and that is all I have for you in this week's edition of Video Game Theme Things around the internet. No, 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 no. Back to you, Bobby. We sound like the Stooges when we do that. Nah, 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 nah. Well, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, today, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of 2K Games, hinted at, at two investors that uh, they're announcing a new game, a new, brand new IP. Um, and they had a teaser on their Twitter account for a title called Advent. Um, it involves a dystopic future in which people are promised some kind of a healthy, stable, comfortable uh, and comfortable, if entirely uniform, existence. Uh, but the site glitches, and it appears to be hacked in character. Uh, so you know something uh, falls well short of that goal. Um, it sounds like we're going to find out more at E3. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on this? What do you think it's going to be? You think it's going to be a brand? It's, it's it's a brand new IP, whatever it is. So that's good. I mean, that's a good thing. Well, as long as it's not a, a, a simulation of you opening an advent calendar. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Hey, it's the 25th day. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, if you have to wait 25 days to open <laughs> every every part of this game, I, I'll be a little pissed. And Santa comes out and it just everything goes to shit. Yeah. Santa <laughs> shows up, game's over, you lose. Santa is the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we'll uh, see. We'll see when they give us more. That's all yeah. there is. Got to wait to E3. Right. Sorg, anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, new Call of Duty Modern Warfare DLC was announced today, and it stars a familiar face along with four new multiplayer maps. Uh, the first, the DLC enti is entitled Supremacy, and it's for the Xbox One and Xbox 360 uh, uh, for only $14.99. Um, then it's going to be available on PS3 and PS4 probably in about a month. What, that's what usually happens with those timed releases. Uh, the new maps include Parliament, which is a military cargo ship, Kremlin, which is set outside of the Presidential Palace in Moscow in the Red Square. Uh, Compound, which is a Colorado Atlas training facility. And Skyrise, an Atlas skyscraper in Athens, Greece. Uh, the bigger attraction for the DLC is the Zombies mission that adds Bruce Campbell, yes, Ash himself, <laughs> uh, to the action alongside of John Malkovich, Bill Paxton, and Rose McGowan, who are already, already in the game. Uh, will this be enough to get you guys into the new Call of Duty? I know Chachi, you have it already. Are you going to be getting this DLC? No, I don't. I, I don't do the DLC. Okay, that's fair. Um, it, it's not really worth it. Um, I'm not really good at the maps I have now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not going to bother to buy more maps that I'll be even worse at. There um, is kind of a drop off on Call of Duty games as far as like DLC goes. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not like it was for Black Ops Two, where all the maps were good. Yeah. Um, but it's not horrible enough to not play it at all. Bruce me, Campbell's not enough not enough of a uh, selling Ooh. point? It gets me a John, little bit of consideration. John Malkovich wasn't enough of a selling point. <laughs> and I love John Malkovich. So, yeah, it, it wasn't enough. Uh, it won't be enough until, I don't know, it's better. <laughs> okay. That's, that's all there's. That's all there's really to it. Uh, it until until they they do it better, there's not really going to be anything that they can I mean, do. I mean, the last game we had a skyscraper map too. I remember. Yeah, so. there was actually a couple of them, and it wasn't. They weren't that great. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. We'll there's see. a skyscraper map in Advanced Warfare too. Yeah. So. All right. Um. Next up, Star Wars is coming to Infinity 3.0. Uh, Disney Infinity, that is. Uh, in, the form, is. in the form of three parts coming this fall, the first part will be called Twilight of the Republic, and it focuses on the prequel trilogy, trilogy along with Clone Wars cartoons. The second and third parts are entitled Rise of the Empire and The Force Awakens, uh, which is presumably a title or tie into the new new movie. Um, and there, but there's not much known about the, them other than their names. Uh, the new figures will include Anakin and Ashoka. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Obi Wan. Well, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Darth Maul. Aw, oh, come on. It will also include co-op and have lightsaber battles along with ship battles and pod racing. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that Infinity needs to keep pace with Amiibos and Skylanders? Nope. Do you guys think? Yes. 
I, got I think me so interested. I, I think. Go ahead, Sork. So it's got me interested, and and I've been fighting off the getting into Disney Infinity. I have a weird obsession mm-hmm. with it. And I'm like, but I know, just like like taking on that World of Warcraft trial. If I unlock that door, there might not be any coming back. Yep. I like for me, I don't care about the video game as much as the figures. <laughs> I see Groot. I want that Groot figure. I see mm-hmm. Venom. I want that Venom figure for Infinity. You know, same with the Nintendo ones, the Amiibos. I just. I bought a Mega Man figure for crying out loud. I don't know. You guys going to be getting any of these Star Wars figures? It's like a door that if I <laughs> open it, we might have a problem. <laughs> we'll never uh, see Sorg again. Because I'll just be you know, here with my, hypothetically, with my Amigo. Hypothetically, if they brought in a Jar Jar figure or a Boba Fett figure. No, oh, what? Would- because no one in their right mind would buy a Jar Jar figure. Yeah, I know. I was, I was Jar just Jar being was... an ass. Boba Fett would be cool, though. No, no. Because then, then if I get that, then this whole thing will be me here with toys going... Why did I buy <laughs> these? <laughs> and Tuesday like, will now be toy time. <laughs> it's toy <laughs> time. It's toy time with <laughs> Disney Infinity. Wait, I'm Sorgatron. But the toy the time. Toy review. <laughs> It will be 12 hours of toy time with Sorg. Let me tell you about toy time. Next time on toy time, we're going to talk about our toys. Are they awesome or are they the awesomest? Stay tuned. There goes my idea of a figure cast. (laughs) Toy time. (laughs) All right. Toy time is a registered trademark of Chachi Says Inc. All right. Earlier today at an event in Japan, Capcom confirmed Resident Evil Zero, a remastered version of the popular prequel to the original title in the Resident Evil series, uh, is currently in development. The game is planned for release on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360, okay, and PC in early 2016. Uh, the original Resident Evil Zero director Koji Oda, Oda and um, those Japanese, gotta love those Japanese names. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And additional staff are returning for the development of this new remastered version. Capcom will be sharing more information on the title in the coming weeks. Okay? Okay. In more exciting Capcom news, <laughs> to me anyways, uh, following the su- successful release of The Misadventures of Tron Bone, another PlayStation Mega Man classic is coming to the PSN. Mega Man 8 will be available on PlayStation 3, Vita, and PSP starting Thursday, May 27th. Uh, it's a highly it's highly regarded as the, uh, one of the best Mega Man games, even though it does have some of the worst voice acting that Capcom has ever directed or delivered. And if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Doctor Why We, uh, Doctor Light's voice is just terrible in these games. Uh, what, but which Capcom announcement are you guys most excited for? Mega Man easily, mm-hmm. except that I don't have a PlayStation. That's true, but but still, that just seeing that Mega Man still gets play, uh, uh, that works for me. So it, it, it's one of the longest lasting franchises. It's one of the best franchises around, and they just bury it constantly. I mean, Capcom, that's your bread and butter right there. Definitely, definitely. So Chachi, not interested. No, not really. I, I could care less. You don't um, like Mega it's Man. Two, it's two things that should just die. No. Whoa. It's- no, I'm not taking it back. Mm-hmm. Um, they haven't done anything relevant with either series in the past decade. Because they should just die. Captain Stupid. I, I'm sorry. I would much rather see Mega Man get put out of its misery oh. than um, them ruin it like this. Oh, it's true. That is true. So, but at least they're like bringing out the old games. I wish they'd bring out Mega Man Legends like this because that was a great game. But all right, uh, so you guys went to a museum about video games this weekend. Mm-hmm. Do you want to elaborate on that? We went to a museum. Oh, yeah, screw that. It's, it's a good museum, though. I was tricked. I mean, all museums um, are good. But... No, we went to the uh, Coin Hop Coin Hop Hall of Fame and Museum. Uh, it's actually the Pennsylvania Coin Hop Hall of Fame and Museum, uh, located in Hopewell Township. Coin Hop is where you get pancakes for a penny. Yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, over 400 classic machines of all types. Wow. Um, we're talking easily um, two whole rows of pinball. Nice. And two whole rows 
of classic uh, like arcade games. Um, we're talking things like um, a 1960s uh, Fire Chief game, which is essentially you controlling a water shooting fire truck <laughs> um, to put out fire in a burning building. Uh, the fire's not real, the water is. The, the game has a windshield wiper, for Christ's sake. Nice. Um, a dozer, which is just you pushing around dirt to score points um, with a, a remote control bulldozer. Um, the coolest pinball machine I saw, besides all the, the originals, um, and by original I mean the old ones where if you were good enough it was possible to reset the score to zero, um, was... Uh, the Hercules pinball machine. Hercules, Hercules. Um, easily five and a half feet long and three feet wide. Uh, the game used a cue ball as the pinball. Oh. Wow. That's, that's how big it was. It, to to uh, pull back the plunger, which is pinball term for the little knob that you pull to shoot the ball. Did they uh, actually pull- use a plunger? <laughs> no, no. Uh, to pull, to, no. To pull back the plunger fully, though, with the spring mm-hmm. that they had to use in it, it took both arms wow. and, and leaning back into it to get it to go. Um, but I mean, they had a they have a whole bunch of really cool stuff. We spent five hours there, and I I don't mind. <laughs> Did um, you guys play every game? No, not every game. Um, we played a lot of games, so wow. I, I mean, it, you, you, after a while, you start to repeat the games that you have played to go back to ones that you like after you've mm-hmm. seen everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, my favorite machine, like arcade game machine that they had there, was easily the original Tapper, sponsored by Budweiser. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, that was easily my favorite. Uh, we did spend a good 20, 25 minutes beating the Ghostbusters arcade game. Yes. Um, it's everything's on free play, so yeah, there's no I, I, reason to stop. Yeah, uh, the, the whole thing that uh, the only thing that I noticed is that you have they have to mod the machines to set up the the free play. Some of them, some of them. Yeah, some of them, um, which doesn't really take much. It's just hooking up a a button to the coin slot to recognize it as a credit. Credit. Um, so it, I mean, it, it, it's a really good. Uh, place to go. Uh, the uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, uh, but I mean, Sorg, uh, how many? If you had to guess, I mean, how many games do you think you? Play? I don't know. I said over four hundred, and there said actually probably more. Um, it's it's somewhere between four to five hundred games. And it, yeah, how and, many and, do you think you played? Though? Oh, that I played. Oh, jeez, yeah. I don't even know. Uh, between the pinball machines, because it's just like you wander around, but like, oh, I'll play this. Oh, you know, I think I'll go over here and see what's going on, or I'll, I'll go see what uh, Chachi and Missy are playing over here. Right. You know, and 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 I keep I've had people hitting up me up on Facebook that they were there, like people I know, and they didn't run into me. Like that's how big wow. this place is. Uh, so when you look at it, like okay, pricing wise, like you first you're like, oh, that's a little steep at, at first, but do you think about it? no? Actually, that's pretty good because it's like well, yeah, it, because I mean, it, you're looking at uh, for two hours of play mm-hmm. is 20 bucks yeah that's not bad at but all. it's everything's um, free play you could just right. play everything for two hours and they have they have uh all like unlimited play emission at like 30 or 40 dollars uh, 40 dollars um, for an, an all-day pass which we, yeah. s- we spent like we got lost and pretty much spent like five hours in there yeah um and Playing then they also have family pricing which is uh like 40 dollars for four uh members mm-hmm. uh to play for a few hours. So, I, I mean, they open Saturday. Yeah, officially. Um, and they, they do have hours through. Most days are closed Mondays for anybody who wants to check that out. Uh, it, 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 it's great. I think, and to see the little kids that we saw in there with our little crates, they have a yeah, big stack yeah, of crates. They, uh, you walk around they, with the crates, and, and the little kid will, will set the crate down, and, and was asked, Missy went to play Burger Time or something, and I guess the little girl says, excuse me, I'd like to play that machine, and and and, uh, <laughs> and she comes over, she, and then she runs away. And we're like, where the heck, where'd she go? And she comes back with a crate, and she's standing there playing the game, and I'm 
like, and I'm like, I'm like looking, at, I'm playing the sit down pole position uh, game, and I'm like, that's that's awesome, you know, that the kids are into <laughs> something like that. The decor is amazing. A lot of, uh, 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 you know, we, we talked with Chris. Uh, we have an extended interview with Chris Aiken, uh, one of the co-founders here, uh, uh, over on Awesome Chat at AwesomeCast.net. And I could, uh, for probably 40 minutes, we talked to him about the background on this, and, and of course, there's the video over at InsertCoinToBegin.com that we did from our our, our time there and kind of touched base with the VIP party and and, and they, they raised five thousand dollars to get this started on Kickstarter just to get started with this thing and uh, to see them uh, going and, and, and the response that they're getting and uh, I, I think I think they're going to do really good over there and, and if you're in the Pittsburgh area if you're visiting Pittsburgh it's just north of the airport uh, a couple exits up there at, at the Hopewell exit and uh, I, I think anybody should check this out I right it, it's Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead, Chachi. Uh, it's worth the trip and it's worth the admission. Nice. Um, because it, it, it is it is a, a family friendly place. Um, uh, it, they have piles of milk crates, and you, you could be on the other side not hear any children anyhow. So, I, I mean, it is perfect. You usually can't hear them over the games, anyways. Right. Yeah you you can't you can't hear anything so. I have two questions. Okay. Do they, are they going to plan on like adding any newer games, like '90s games? I know you said they didn't have no. A lot of 90s the only games. the only thing they said to me when I was talking to them was, um, if we had more room, we would have more games. Okay. So they have more. Apparently, this guy was collecting arcade games. Oh wow! And they decided to do this with them. Hmm. So. Uh, and second, well, and, 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 and the the cool thing is the workshop is in the back. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like it, it, it's it looks like it was an old restaurant. Um, they have the the swingy kitchen doors, and if you look through the window, you can see uh, open machines that they're currently working on. So nice. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, second question: Did anybody come up to you and say there's a potential Donkey Kong kill screen coming up? <laughs> if you're interested, no, <laughs> no, but they're very interested in becoming a place where something like that would happen. I believe. Yes. yes. So I, I, I mean, it, there's that. I, this could easily take over the place, um, and I forget what it's called because I don't really like that place. Um, it, it could really take over the the as the home of uh, the records. Twin just galaxies. Like, uh, yeah, twin galaxies. Yeah. Um, so, and I hope it does because I like this place a hell of a lot better than I like right, twin right. galaxies. I've never seen so many vector video games. I had yeah. never, I had never seen Tempest in person, other than like I had the floppy disk with Microsoft Arcade, and that's <laughs> how I played it with a mouse, right? And they had two. There's a couple of doubles. They have like two uh, asteroids machines. No, no, Tempest machines. They, they're thinking yeah. they have one asteroids, and they have like two Cuberts, for instance. Ooh, uh, so it's mostly all. all Cubert has Tourette syndrome. Well, you no, know, the Cubert machines were different, though. Yeah, they were. Um, but like I said, maybe so, one might be a special edition. Uh, it had a different yeah. plate. It had a different title on it, a little bit. So, uh, but it's really cool. If, if you want to just immerse into old school arcade games and like those machines that you've heard about and never seen, like I just and, and plus, like I said, the games baby Pac-Man, the baby Pac-Man. <laughs> that's like that is the video game, and then you go down a tunnel and then you play pinball in the lower part, like real pinball, a mini Did pinball board. Did they have the Adams Family pinball machine? They did, uh, one of the most okay. profitable ones ever. Yeah, that's one of the most old popular James Bond. Ones. They had an Avengers. They had a special limited edition Avengers Hulk edition. Nice. Uh, Tron, nice. Uh, yeah, Transformers. You know, a lot of a lot of Rob. fun. Like a lot, of, like, especially the pinball. You can tell there are big pinball nuts here, yeah. and some other pinball Terminator? people. Uh, there's Terminator yes. 2 pinball. There's the Terminator yeah. 2 gun game that Chachi was nice. double double gunning. Um, there's a lot of mechanical games here. We were playing a game called uh, it, it was it was some kind of can shoot game where we sat on the other side and there was a light gun and you would you would click these things they would shoot there's a plastic can and you had to get it in the in the hole on the other guy's uh, thing which Chachi and I would play that for for forever. Yeah, it was it's like air hockey with light guns in a can. Nice. Uh, you you shoot the 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 sensor plates on the bottom of the table and it would pop up and the can depending on where it was would shoot in the other direction. Mm -hmm. uh, we played we played a good three games of that without stopping. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. 
Uh, Sorg, you want to talk to us about some pizza? Yes, check out our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com. We just had uh, Dudders and Chilla in here for Awesome Cast, uh, supporting the hungry people that come in here during their dinner time to do some podcasting with tech tech talking technology, video games, wrestling, so much more. And it's thanks to our friend SliceOnBroadway.com uh, down here on the tracks in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh or down on the Main Street in Carnegie, PA. Please go check out either letter location. Let them know you heard about them on Boss Battle. Bobby? All right, it's time for our final round question. It's a pretty short one this week. What do you guys want to see at E3? With E3 rapidly, rapidly approaching, it's coming up in the middle of June here. Um, I want some predictions for you guys. What what games do you want to see? What 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 would you like to see? No. A what? No? Everybody knows what I want to see. <laughs> You're everybody, not. They're not. Other than that, other and than everyone knows what I'm not gonna <laughs> get. Other than Legend of Zelda. Any other games you want to see? No, I. Uh, I want new stuff. I, I mean, uh, that's all new I want. IPs? I, I want good new IPs. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I think I'm with Chachi on this because we're we're two people that have not bought into the new generation just yet, mm-hmm. and we don't. I, I don't know if this is your sentiment, Chachi, other than the the Zelda thing, but uh, I have not seen something worthwhile for that price tag to go get. When I am well, playing, when either of us are still massively playing our Xbox 360s. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the thing. Um, I'm moving into a situation where we have, we will have two 360s, mm-hmm. um, and Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed is rapidly approaching on the next platform only. Yeah. Um, so I may be upgrading uh, sooner than I thought. Right. Okay. And you can get uh, the other Unity. Right. So I, I mean, it'll be it maybe I don't know. We'll see. Okay. But I'm not even close. But yeah, I, 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 I have, have plenty to play. I, I don't really have a reason other than Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed to even think about buying the next system. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, maybe at this point I have reason to buy a Wii U just because. Okay. Um, <laughs> not I mean, for Zelda. I, right. I mean, the price point is good, and um, it's an interesting concept. Mm-hmm. So, I mean... I, it, Deserves my money a hell of a lot more than Xbox One or PS4 does at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, show me a, a Splatoon yeah. for Wii U. I, I show me new IP. That's what I want. Okay. Sorg, anything? Uh, yeah, basically something got me excited. Okay. I'm very interested to look at... Uh, I, I noted this before. Apparently, apparently there's going to be a PC gaming conference. Like, you know, you have Microsoft, you have Sony, you know, doing their press conferences. Uh, this is apparently going to be through, I think, and not in, I think AMD is doing this. Uh, AMD and PC Gamer, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm curious to see what that is. What is the representation for PC gaming? Because honestly, that thing is where a lot of my gaming is going to come from as I straddle that generational shift here, right? It's going to uh, be just all... Grand Theft Auto mod. <laughs> it probably is. It probably is, to be honest. Uh, but still, like even as I'm catching up with all those games that from the last generation, I'm still trying to get through and play. Um, I'm still always going to have, I think, a pretty modern computer because I'm always going to have a, a MacBook that I've bought in recent last couple of years that mm-hmm. I can play PC games on. To be honest, you know, and a lot of those are Mac compatible. You know, uh, is there a representation of Steam? What's the next step there? Because I think that's an option as people are looking for alternatives. You know, uh, does Oculus, uh, Oculus, I think, is having an announcement sooner or later in the next couple of weeks. Hmm. What's, you know, and who's going to take them on? You know, is Sony finally going to step up with their headset? How close are we to VR? How we're looking at is a uh, hollow lens and, and maybe Google Glass maybe being announced at Google I.O. again this year. To combat all that kind of stuff, maybe not gaming directly, but still something, something along those lines of uh, VR and AR. Mm-hmm. So that I kind of I, I look at the technology more. Nintendo Virtual games. Boy 2.0. Right, I look at the technology more than the games themselves. Side note: Watch the uh, Reggie, the entirety of the Reggie training video. <laughs> it is the best thing I've seen from Nintendo since Zelda: Twilight Princess. <laughs> oh, I, I, I w- was thinking about this. I want to see. You guys might disagree with me, but I want to see a new Red Dead Redemption game. Okay. I love the the 360 one. 
uh, I, I'm, it's it's time, Rockstar. Um, another one I'd like to see is Fallout Four. Uh, I I was I liked Fallout Three, so it's good. Just and and like you guys said, something new that'll get me excited. Um, I I hope Xbox announces some pretty good exclusives because they don't have that many right now. So we'll see. But that is going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR uh, for the, providing the notes and tweets. Uh, Sorg, you want to plug anything? I want to plug, of course, go check out that video at InsertCoinToBegin.com. we got so many other videos going on. Sawtooth Willie talking to us about train farmers and recently featuring Yed Jagoff from YedJagoff.com. That's over at SorgatronMedia.com or check out the playlist at YouTube.com slash SorgatronMedia. And uh, yeah, so much stuff going on at SorgatronMedia.com, daily shows, etc, etc, etc. Weird schedule this week, so we might not have as many mini bosses as usual but hopefully uh we're, we're re- readjusting things a little bit around here in general and uh if you like it let us know and uh mm-hmm. and that's all i got all right chachi you have any plugs nope uh chachi right. says.com and insert coin to begin.com that's what's happening right now all right and i'm bobby fj town game over This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.